Tonight we honor Judith Vjorst, New York College of Arts and Sciences, class of 1952. I have written for you know, grown-ups and kids, poetry and prose, serious and funny, and a, and a wide range of areas. I love the variety. I love using all those different functions of mine. But I would say that there is a common thread in everything I write. I'm always writing about what's going on inside of us, what's going on in our relationships with other people. Judith's extensive writing catalog includes Necessary Losses, which was on the New York Times bestseller list for almost two years, and the children's classic Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, which has sold more than four million copies worldwide. At Redbook, we knew her name because uh, we knew her work as a poet. She wrote about everything. She wrote about nuclear power. She wrote about books that she loved. She wrote about Woody Allen. And she was part of a wonderful team at Red Book. We had three contributing editors, Judy Viewers, Dr. Benjamin Spock, and Margaret Mead. I'm a professional writer. What that means for me is I sit down, I put my tush on my chair in my office, and I write. And before I had an office, I wrote in the bedroom. And I can still write with a pencil and paper online at Disney movies and airports and doctor's offices and hotel rooms with screaming children. I can just sit down and do my work. I think what's important about her books is that children continue to read them and love them. Some of the illustrations are in black and white. Kids nowadays don't like black and white illustrations, and yet they see the color in her books. I was at the New Brunswick Library getting out some of her books the other day, and every one of them was well-worn and well-loved. It looks like kids have had a great time reading them, and that's what we want. We want to turn kids into readers, and Judith has helped us do that. Judith Theorst is an exceptional Rutgers graduate. She's an outstanding author who's published 37 books, but it's not just the number, it's the breadth of her work that's so outstanding. I heard from her that she has said that Rutgers was what inspired her to focus on reading and eventually on writing, and we are all so lucky that she did. I started writing and sending out my writing when I was seven and eight years old. Beautiful, impeccable printing on line notebook paper with a sharp pencil. Very shocked that the women's magazines my mother read uh, weren't publishing my poems. But I had a dream of having a um, book with my name on the cover um, and a picture of me in the back. And I remember sitting on the steps of my parents' house in uh, Newark having this dream. And when I actually had my first book come out about a million years after that dream, I could actually hold the dream in this hand and the physical book in this hand and, 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 and see, experience a dream coming true.